After winning the 2016 general elections, which some critics argue was his toughest, Yoweri Museveni launched into a legacy building campaign dubbed Chisanja Kuna Mchezo. The word that he chose to use was not new to Ugandans' ears. Chisanja had initially been used as a word for the campaign to remove term limits from the constitution. The hope this time from sections of the public, together with the backing of the constitutional Article 102, remains that Museveni will not be eligible to offer himself for any other presidential election. This belief is compounded further by a 2012 interview on NTV with Patrick Kamara, in which he says leaders should retire after 75 years. After 75, the vigor, I think there's some scientific uh, idea there that maybe the vigor is not as much after 75 uh, years. So that one I wouldn't quarrel with. Some. I know there are some leaders who, are, uh, who, have, who have been leading even beyond 75. But I think if you want very active leaders, it should, it should go to have the ones below 75. So are you saying you wouldn't go beyond 75 yourself, sir? Not at all. Certainly not. But while the interview is still reeling fresh in the minds of many, the speculation has grown that the ruling party's top leadership has begun round moves to grant the president a lifeline from Article 102. On 8th June, government notified in the Uganda Gazette, the official publication of the country, that it was bringing to the floor of parliament the Constitutional Amendment Bill. While the contents of the bill are not yet public, sources close to both cabinet and the justice ministry where the bill would be authored say the amendment on Article 102 has been a topic of discussion but may not be brought to the floor of parliament. A view that Usuk member of parliament who is from the ruling party, would like to refute. The constitution is not static. The constitution is a constitution which can be amended. Nobody should be deceived, anyone, that this document here cannot be amended. That's a lie. And it's the role of parliament to amend, to make laws. If it is the view of the people of Uganda that will amend the constitution, we are going to amend it. As Peter Wang, First of all, I'm happy that the final government has gazetted it. What is my view? As far as continuity is concerned, I support the amendment. The constitution of the Republic of Uganda is not my property. It's the property of the people of Uganda. It's not a commandment from God. And all articles of the constitution are amenable to amendment. When the population of Uganda so chooses. Well, when the time has come today or tomorrow, if the people of Uganda say, we want this article changed, it will be changed. If they say, leave it as it is, it will remain as it is. NTV has spoken to at least five sources in the country's top leadership organ, Cabinet, who confirmed that discussions on Article 102 have been happening, but they haven't been concretized into a bill and may not be brought with this round of amendments that will focus largely on land for infrastructure development. The discussion on Article 102 is very much a conversation on transition, a subject that many members of the first family have chosen to avoid, with the exception of Odrek Ruawogo. That is a very difficult question. I believe that uh, he has a mind of his own, and uh, I think some things have to remain private, no matter how public you are. Five million members of the movement who elected the president last year, if we shift power to one center and remove these, what country are we creating? I think people should be happy that I'm speaking to the base, I'm energizing my generation, I am speaking to the president, I'm creating minimum level of engagement that will create a debate about the future. Four-time presidential candidate Kiza Besije has already warned that any move to amend the constitution will be met by resistance from the people. The dictator has all the power. The dictator is sovereign. Sovereign power, the power of Uganda, rests in Mr. Museveni, not in the people of Uganda. So Mr. Museveni is the constitution, the work at hand is not stopping the changing of the constitution. 
the work at hand is removing the dictator so that power shifts back to the people of Uganda. 